Today, we're gonna learn how to count our brine shrimp. Now, if our brine shrimp were as big as these puppets are in this tank, it would be so easy, but they're not. They're so tiny. So we're gonna use a magnifying glass and our pipette and grab a dish that we have in the house to help us count. Brine shrimp have phototaxia, which means they're sensitive to light. So before I make my measurement, I'm gonna close up my bag, make sure it's all the way closed, and then I'm gonna shake it up a little bit. Might even turn it upside down. Whew. It's okay if a little water drips out here and there. Notice that there are marks on it, and each one says one, two, or three ml, which stands for milliliters. You can squeeze it like this and use it to suck up stuff, kind of like a turkey baster. So for today, we want to suck up 2 ml, which is this line right here. And I am going to take a Sharpie and draw a line there to make it easier for me to see. So one second. Okay, so now I know that I want to suck up enough water just to get to here so that I can do my experiment. When you've shaken your bag and you're ready to take your sample, give the bulb a big squeeze to push all the air out. Then put your pipette in the water and gently release the bulb until the water level is equal with the line. Then we're gonna come over here and just squirt out the water onto some kind of flat thing. It could be a plate or a little bowl, whatever you have around. You just want something clean so that when you're finished, you can suck the water back up and put it back in your bag. Now you're going to take your magnifying glass and try your best to count how many brine shrimp you see swimming around inside your sample. That number represents the capital B in your math formula or the number of brine shrimp in your sample. So my B is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I got seven that time. Let me try again. One, two, three, four, five. Stop moving. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 13. Okay, I got 13 that time. All right, I'm gonna try again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so just make your best guess on how many brine shrimp are in your sample. I'm going to take the average of my numbers and say that my capital B or number of brine shrimp is 10. Okay, so now I'm going to need my other numbers. So I write that down. B is 10. Now, my volume one or the volume of water in my bag, my bag is still pretty full and it says 450. So I would write that down next to V1. Now your bag might have less water, in which case your V1 could be 400. I don't know. You gotta look at your bag. <laughs> the next thing, number that you need is your V2. That's the volume of your sample. And everybody should have the same number there, which is two milliliters. Because remember, we sucked up two milliliters of water. So write those numbers into your formula and do your math to estimate how many brine shrimp are in this entire bag? Aren't you glad that you don't have to pipette them out and count every one? See, math is cool. Now, if you're really good at pipetting, professional pipetter, you can suck up all the water in one try. Very slowly, just kind of vacuum around. No brine shrimp left behind. Oh, yep, I did it. The master's degree in biology. You see, these are the kind of things that you learn. And then, have fun guys, be free.